McBookie Super League Premiership Playoff Second Leg Gervin 1 Troon 2 Troon win 4-2 on aggregate by Stuart McConnell Super Troon were singing in the rain at Hamilton Park last Wednesday as they clinched a coveted Premiership place in some style. Jim Kirkwood's side overcame the loss of an early goal to subdue their South Ayrshire rivals in what was a highly entertaining game despite the awful overhead conditions. It was a huge contrast for the hosts, who celebrated title success at Yoker just over a year ago. But they will just have to regroup for next season's championship. Gervin began well and in four minutes Jack McDowell saw his angled drive well saved by Ali McInnes. At the other end three minutes later, Robert Love saw his 10-yard effort well saved by Scott Johnston. However in nine minutes Gervin went ahead to level the tie as striker Robert Patterson rolled the ball under McInnes and into the net from 10 yards. Then in 17 minutes a 25-yard free kick from McDowell glanced just over the bar. However six minutes later Trun equalized to go ahead on aggregate as Dean Fulton hooks the ball home from six yards. Four minutes later a Paul Cameron corner kick was cleared by the Troon defense. A Troon defender cleared a Patterson shot off the line in 33 minutes. Gervin were denied what looked a fair penalty claim in 37 minutes when Paul Cameron was tripped inside the box. However Troon has a two-goal cushion a minute from halftime when realist Keir Knapp picked up the ball inside the box and lashed a shot home from 12 yards. The hosts forged a good chance in 47 minutes when the ball broke to Adam Caldwell, who shot inches over the bar from 25 yards. Troon came agonizingly close in 55 minutes when Love sent a superb through ball to Evan Maley who shot inches wide from 12 yards. Paul Cameron booted a cross into the box in 59 minutes but there were no takers. Then seconds later, Fulton was through on goal but home goalie Scott Johnston made a good block. The visitors were unlucky in 65 minutes when Livewire Evan Maley just failed to connect with the pass. Scott Chatham had a shot saved by Johnston six minutes later. Johnston made a great stop to foil Fulton from 10 yards. Love sent a cross into box for Troon but it was cleared in 84 minutes. The home goalie was taken off with a head cut in 85 minutes and was later needed stitches in hospital after going for a 50-50 ball. He was replaced by Paul Cameron and Epp free kick from 25 yards was saved by Cameron in 88 minutes. Maley slammed the ball wide from 25 yards two minutes later as Troon easily saw the game out. Gervin, Johnston, Reed, M. Cameron, Mitchell, Mossy, P. Cameron, Caldwell, McDowell, Patterson, Harvey, Riley. Subs, D. Cunningham, C.C., David, O'Donnell. Troon, McInnes, Sherry, Keenan, Strawn, Chatham, Fulton, Murphy, Maley, Love, Knapp, Patterson. Subs, Clark, Collins, Curra, Lamont, McKay. Sent from my iPad.